Today's topic for conversation is blog SEO. So stay tuned, we're gonna talk about why this is important. Hey, it's Philip here, The Curly Marketer, and as I mentioned, today is the third video in my blogging series, and we're talking about blog SEO. If you're watching me here on YouTube, you're very welcome, please do subscribe, and you can catch it the first two blogging videos I did in my blogging playlist. Now, blog SEO, very, very important. A lot of people, unfortunately, when they write a blog post are so excited, they just hit publish and hoping that loads of people are come, going to come to the blog and read it, which unfortunately is not the case. Blog SEO, you have to optimize and structure your post to allow essentially that you might get a ranking uh, by the search engines. You know, that when the Google bot comes and crawls your site, that it gets a really good idea as to what your content and what your page is about. Because if it does not know what you're trying to talk about or what you're optimizing for, and someone is put in a search, the chances that Google will still show your page is slim. So as I mentioned in my blogging strategy video, I use a plugin called Yoast. It's a WordPress plugin. And this, in my opinion, is the number one SEO plugin around. Just for simplicity alone, it's a winner. You know, it has a simple traffic light system, green, amber, red, and it will analyze your blog post as you're writing it to point out areas for improvement. So if you stay tuned, I'm going to show you a, a blog post that I am writing, and you'll see how Yoast gives me uh, tips and guidance to get us to that green light. So okay, here is a very simple tutorial to show you how Yoast can really help you optimize your blog post. So I'm here in a new blog post, title is Why Your Blog Needs SEO. Um, I'm now going to literally show you how Yoast works. So if I scroll down into the Yoast preview kind of, I suppose, area when you've installed the plugin, if I click on focus keyword, here you'll now see that it is showing me the problems and the improvements that it's recommending I make to my page. So the first problem is I don't have a focus keyword set. Obviously this is important because I need to have a keyword that I wanna try and rank for, that if someone is looking for this keyword, this topic, etc., that hopefully through all of this optimization, my post will be shown to them by the search engines. So let's go ahead up here and put in a focus keyword. And in this case, I'm gonna call it blog SEO. So that is my focus keyword. And you'll see that obviously that problem of having no focus keyword has now come out of the problem area. But that also creates other problems. You'll see here, the focus keyword doesn't appear in the first paragraph of the copy. So make sure the topic is clear immediately. And this would always be best practice. Get that focus keyword kind of within the first couple of lines of your first paragraph, because it then makes it very clear to the reader and to the Google bot who's crawling your site, what your content is about. So I obviously started to write this post. I stripped out the copy I'd put in there for the purposes to show you this. So I'm just going to put it back in um, to the top there. We're just going to scroll up, scroll up to the top. So, and you'll see there, my in my opening line, I have the keyword blog SEO. So that should. So there you go. I'm getting a good result now. So the focus keyword appears in the first paragraph of the copy. So it's no longer a problem. So the next problem that I have to deal with is I don't have a meta description. And the meta description is that little piece of kind of snippet text and that you see, like if you scroll up here, you'll see that Yoast is showing me what this post would look like in an organic search result. You'll see obviously the title, the web link, and the meta description is that kind of two line piece of text and that gives a small synopsis of what the post is about. And you want to make it as enticing as possible uh, that it really maybe answers the person's question so they click on your link and get to your post. So let's, um, oh, sorry, let's just uh, go into edit snippet and meta description. Once again, I have a meta description already written. So I'm just going to copy and paste and put it in there. So meta description goes in there. And you'll see, obviously, I'm getting that green bar, which signifies that I'm in the right type of length uh, that they're recommending for a meta description. And once again, if you went up to your visual kind of proof or your visual kind of look at how this would look, you'll see now it's put in 
what the meta description would look like. So that problem of the meta description is now gone. So we only have two problems left. So the focus keyword blog SEO does not appear in the SEO title. So once again, we need to fix that. So up here is SEO title. So I'm just going to kind of create some space. I have an SEO title already written and here it is. So we just copy and paste that into here. Once again, I'm getting that sort of that green bar to signify that I have an optimum kind of level or amount of words for the SEO title. And if I go down once again, and that is no longer a problem. I only have one problem in effect left. I've no internal links appearing in this page. Consider adding some as appropriate. So this is a, a very interesting area that a lot of people forget, is that if you have written a similar post that has a similar kind of relationship with this or one of your posts, you should link back to it. So in this case, I obviously, I wrote a post, how to create a winning blogging strategy. So, and here it is on my website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that link. Great plugin actually that uh, popped in. If you're looking for an exit intent pop them, you should go for that. So I'm just gonna copy that and I'm going to turn this line into a link. Just going to make sure that that opens as a new link and update that. And I kind of tend to like to have links in orange. You know, it's just a personal kind of personal view there. Um, so I put an eternal link there and that should now, um, yeah, so once again, now you see, I don't have a problem anymore. So the red light problems are gone. And because of that, I'm sort of kind of hitting that my SEO at this own time is good according to uh, Yoast. Now, if you look at the improvements, no outbound links. So once again, if I go up to my posts, you may have seen that I had highlighted Yoast SEO plugin. And once again, I think it's a, it's a great, uh, a great tool. So I'm just going to basically uh, use this particular link for Yoast. Um, and I'm going to go here, click, open link as a new tab and update. And if we scroll back down to Yoast, you'll see that that issue is now gone. The focus keyword does not appear in the URL for this page. Now, once again, this is important because you know you want to make sure that you're you're using your keywords within your URL. So to, to literally just kind of edit that, I would just go into here and go blog SEO and OK. So now my keyword is part of my URL. And if I go back down, you'll, you'll see that I literally have green lights all the way. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, Yoast, it's a great, great tool. Uh, it will definitely um, help you get your post optimized. And I would advise you to very much uh, take it on board. Thanks for watching. So I hope you found that Curly Mark tip useful. I think you'll see that Yoast is one of those plugins that is definitely, it's a must have. It's so simple and it's very easy to follow and really kind of helps you get your blog post optimized very, very quickly. And I think through the process as well, with the tips and the tricks that it gives you, you actually start to self-learn really well. You start to remember, I better have internal linking. Don't forget your alt tags. So it's teaching you SEO in a very, very simple way, in my opinion. Watching this video on LinkedIn for the first time. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the type of content I post on LinkedIn. Please do connect with me. You know, it's great to connect with like-minded people. Obviously, if I can help you with social media, please do reach out. I'd always be delighted to help. So that's today's Curly Marketer Tip. As I said, I hope you found it useful. You know, please do share with your own community if you find it helpful. And obviously wishing you continued success with your own business journey.